people dancing this style. And so I'd like to take a minute to share with you what I was taught by my grandmas. <clears throat> a long time ago, uh, our women had long fringes, just like a lot of stationary women you see dancing today, but it wasn't conducive to the terrain that we live in. We live with mountains, lakes, fields, and the fringes would get caught. So we cut our fringes because our women had to stay busy taking after our kids, picking berries, fishing, and raising our communities. So the hides stay short in the same shape that they were cut, which honors the short fringe. A lot of times you'll see a style either in the front or in the back that symbolizes a diamond or the deer tail, honoring that life of the deer that gave its life for the short fringe dress. I'll be um, alongside the Miss Indian World Committee and we'll be doing the judging. And I just wanna say thank you so much uh, to the Gathering of Nations Powell for honoring this style. <clears throat> In my community, when the colonizers first came, they told our women to bring their buckskins in for a show and tell. And what they did is they burned those buckskins. And a lot of women and their families decided to bury the dresses and hide the dresses so when I look out and I see this style danced and know that maybe some of these has been underground for generations, I see these dances as a victory dance. And to me, that's very powerful and you should all be very proud. Lim Lynch in Chespa'us, thank you. How about another round of applause for Miss Nikki Petrie. She's got a lot of knowledge. Thank you for the history and thank you for sharing your knowledge. We need a hose. I believe we have our uh, our judges are ready to go, right, Melanie? Our judges are ready. Our dancers are ready. We're going to have two songs. First off, we're going to come over here to Sharpshooter. We got the high sign worm, so anytime you're ready. Representing tribes from all over. Turtle Island, Sharpshooter.
How about a round of applause for song number one? Oh, I tell you what, that's some awesome singing right there. Thank you there, sharpshooter. Stand by. Let's see, where are we going next? Is that Black Horse? Iron Horse. All right, stand by there, gentlemen. Iron. Indian horse. Hey. I don't I don't see uh Dennis's drum list up here, so I'm kinda all right. Sorry, fellas. Indian horse from Albuquerque. All right, we just got direction here. After this second song, ladies, hold your positions. The judges are gonna come out and pick the finalists, and then we're gonna come back over here to Sharpshooter for that final song. So stand by there, gentlemen. So as soon as we get the high sign from our arena staff. All righty, we're coming over here to Indian Horse. Take it away. Albuquerque, let him hear it. Beautiful, beautiful dancing. All right, hold your positions, ladies. Our judges are going to come out here and select their finalists. And also, we need Vera Curley. If you would, please come up here to the announcer stand. Mama is looking for you. You are in trouble. Vera Curley, come on over. Good singing there, Indian horse. I apologize for giving you two new names. Hey. Nikki. All right, we're going to ask for a straight song. You know, ladies and gentlemen, it's great to be here in Albuquerque, New Mexico once again. It's always a, a beautiful feeling to be a part 
of an incredible celebration such as this. We have top-notch dancers from all over Indian country showcasing their talent right here in the land of enchantment. At this time, we'd like to invite our finalists back into the arena. Maybe uh, your loved ones can bring a quick drink of water. Your honey might give them a sip of your Gatorade. Hey. And also, stand by, gourd dancers. We're going to be coming at you a little bit later in the program. So be ready. It's great to see all of our singers make their way down here. Without our singers, we're unable to dance. So 